Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play some more Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, so we're going to take a little break. We're not going to do the next dungeon just yet. Uh, we have a guild test we need to take care of, so we're just going to register for that right away. And we're going to initiate this quest for now, since we're right here. Yep, we're awesome. Alright, so now, next is going to send us to Gridania, where it's going to initiate a uh, quest for another dungeon. But uh, before we do that, um, what we are going to take care of, those are my, from one of my subscription rewards, by the way. Beta much I can just exchange one of those and make it free. It's like, it's a like get out of jail free card, except it's for teleports. So what we're going to do in the time being, while we just wait for this, is we're going to fill out a few more entries in our hunting log. So we can just get that out of the way, because um, we're kind of bored. Sorry, I'm just looking at the coordinates on one of them. So this is what we have, like, left here. We probably won't finish this today. Uh, yes, we might. It depends on uh, how fast... We can get this taken care of. So, how much of the map? Yeah, this map we have almost covered. We might actually be able to uh, get the mapping achievement for here, too. Of course, my free company needs me right now. <laughs> of course. <laughs> But yeah, it turns out I was looking in the right place for the Antling Sentry before, but, um... I just missed it because I was in the wrong place. But that's A-OK. -okay. We'll get that taken care of. It's actually way up here we need it. Yeah, <laughs> my free company's talking about me. Hi, guys! Get away from me, Corgans! I don't want nothing to do with you. Do I have that little itty bitty part of the map filled out? I just want to be sure. Yeah, you can't go in this tunnel, unfortunately. Nothing here. Nothing to see here! We're gonna leap around this way to this giant hill, which we unfortunately can't. Oh, okay, we can climb up it. It's a pretty steep incline there. Hello, Mr. Quergan. Bye, Mr. Quergan. Excuse me, all I did was say hello, and you come and attack me out of nowhere. That is not very nice, sirs. Are these the tortoises we need as well? Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, the log actually lists these as uh, Western Thanalin, which they do exist there, too. Um, those are the level 12 ones we saw earlier. But, like, many, uh, several hunting log entries will also exist in different maps. Not a lot of them, but some of them do. So, on to the giant anthill. We see there's actually a dungeon here, but we won't be taking care of that for quite a long while. And I'm surprised it actually shows in the map, considering it's one of the few optional dungeons in the game. I think I have to go around to get on top. Yeah, I do. It's alright though. Everything is cool. Oh, these waiting. Sometimes you run out of things to talk about while you're just sitting here, just waiting. Waiting and waiting and waiting. The woes of an MMO, people. Hooray! So we mapped this achievement. Awesome! Get a whole 2,000 experience for that, but... What 
is this quest over here? Oh, I know what it is. It's the one that's locked on the map there. And I keep going the wrong way, because apparently I don't know how to read a compass. Did I write the coordinates wrong down on this? I might have, because I'm an idiot. Let me go back this way. One thing, actually, you know what? One thing we can do right now, too. We're gonna go up here. Because why not? Because we can get ourselves another eighth right right here, really quick. This right here is gonna lead us to Northern Thanalan. Thankfully, right into a sanctuary. Because uh, uh, Northern Thanalan is kind of a high 40 area, so we're gonna we would get annihilated very quickly here. Is that a hunt mob I see in the background? I'm going over there. I'm seeing what this shit's about. No, but it's just somebody's quest thing, but yeah, see, like, level 44? Yeah, this is a high level area. We won't be here for a long time. That's just somebody's individual quest duty there. But yeah. The only reason I came here is because it's conveniently right here, and thankfully there's a sanctuary. Oddly enough, this is a very small map. Like, it only goes from here to down here, and there's actually two aetherites here, which is odd. Like, there are maps, like, three times the size of that that only have one aetherite in them. Alright, so back to doing what we came to do, even though we've- that's pretty much the only thing we've accomplished so far. So we wait for our stupid guild test. The woes of being a ranged DPS because it does queue ranged DPS and melee DPS separately. Thank you, finally! We gotta find some more of those turtles too. Anyone want some fried ants? Fortunately, we don't have any chocolate covering. I'm still going to only get you to kill three of this stuff. But it's all good. It's all good. There is actually a fate that appears here with, like, that involves, like... I don't know. Is this the one that involves killing the giant ant? Or is it just a swarm of ants? I don't know. But there is a fate in this area. Somebody randomly hiding out in that cave over there. Alright, so what's the next one we need to complete here? It's one out of the way. Oh, we're just gonna kill one more tortoise. So let's see if we can find one, because all our other ones are in Eastern Thanalan. Oh, there's one right there. How utterly convenient. I may or may not do the final one in Western Thanalan. Depends on how fast we can get this duty to proc. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Tortoise. You got over here pretty quickly. What's up, dude? Sorry I have to kill you. But experience calls. Alright, so to Eastern Thailand we go. So we slowly fill this out. Okay, and I know exactly where the last two are. Alright. But you know what? We can take care of this too. Hello, this is for level 15 ones, by the way. Oh, somebody just summoned their little carbuncle. Yeah, we don't care about that crabby text. Okay, so we have another, um... Blah, blah, blah. Escort mission that, but we're gonna come up here first. Or maybe we're gonna actually enter this. Maybe. Maybe. 
I'll wait before I start murdering this in case that other one queues in. Yep, okay. Alright, so this one is an odd one because I need to fix to get this get that macro on there. Um I'm not sure what the 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 lesson is supposed to be on this one. It might be about completing being forced to complete certain objectives before you carry on. But basically there's gonna be a couple gates involved here and we have to murder everything in order to open the gate to the next area. And I'm just spamming Blizzard 2 here just because it's my only AoE at the moment. Yeah, most of these uh, guild tests are really easy. So there's actually two things here. Um, he's telling you to slay the lesser things, which are the uh, the two le lemurs that have now spawned in this area. But honestly, it really doesn't matter because these lemurs are ranged and they don't do a lot of damage. So usually people just ignore him and take out the hog first because you have to progress to a certain point to get the stupid lemurs to spawn anyway. And sometimes like this, you know, the tank may drag the hog um, back over to here. It really doesn't matter because these things are... It's, it's almost no wonder that some of the lessons they, they try to teach you about cooperation and priorities don't end up working is because most of these aren't even a challenge at all. They are just too simple, even in crappy gear, and you can like ignore half the objectives, so... But yeah, basically, just somebody needs to pull that level. There's actually no casting time. Only interaction at whatsoever. Making it easy. So now we have some little Shbrigans whom we have to murder. And once again, just AoEing the crap out of them. And as you can see with Blizzard 2, I'm not running out of like any MP because as soon as I spend it, it's just going to come right back. Oh, somebody finished spirit bonding with something. So what we have, have here is a boss of sorts, this giant toad right here. And we have a couple boulders. And you can see we have some uh, spiders lurking behind it. And these spiders are going to attack this boulder. And when the boulder breaks, they will be released. It is entirely possible to actually kill this toad before they break free. And most of the time, um, the toad is almost dead anyway by the time they do break free. So they can kind of be safely ignored. Um, but the idea is to murder them as soon as they break free and go back to the toad. Oh, they actually broke through pretty, pretty quickly, okay. That's one of the fastest I've seen them get loose. And the toad is not actually casting his AoE. Which can and should be stun locked, um, if only to just make him killing him a little bit faster. But uh, he, he basically behaves exactly as the toxic toads we've, we've seen before in, uh, in Central Thanalan. Hooray! Awesome sauce! Yeah, let's give it to the tank, just because he pulled that. That bore over to the lemurs. Hello, lost rabbit. Can I have my reward, please? Oh, and everyone ducked out early. Poopy heads. Yeah, you can manually just leave. But once everyone's gotten their reward, you walk pretty much automatically. So we actually have another one that opens at 15. So we're going to register for that one as well. And that one is laughably easy. So let's get, take care of these swarms of bees hanging out in the graveyard. They ain't hurting nobody here. Not anymore. 
Um, excuse me? Are, are we staring at a dead guy? On the ground here? Okay, we have some guy mining, we have some guy apparently praying, and a dead guy and his wife. I have no words. No words. Wasn't even sure what I was looking at. But okay, whatever. See, that's not even a shovel. That was a pickaxe, and even so, can, can we put the body someplace while, while we're... Ooh, we leveled up. Sweet! Ooh, Fire 2! Alright! Fire 2 is our next AoE. We're just gonna spend our point first. Um, which is obviously uh, more powerful than uh, Blizzard 2. But it cost a lot more MP. So when we're trying to murder stuff, that's going to be uh, more of our primary AoE skill. So what shall we do first? I think we should take care of that, that trial levy first. The only thing confusing about this area right here is you can't tell by looking at the map what is on top and what is on the bottom. This one starts around right here. Nope, I want to select this one right here so I can initiate it. We're going to get a ring off of that. You know what? Let's ramp it up to difficulty four. There you are. So thus begins the beck and spam. Ooh, we have a treasure chest. Nice. Yeah, most of these levies usually have a treasure chest somewhere. Um, sometimes it's a little hidden, sometimes it's out in the middle of... Alright, fine, fine. Yeah, 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 treasure chest. We're just gonna kill this thing just because it's right in our face. Excuse me, Mr. Furble Weed. Hello, I... Did not get in your line of sight there. We will murder you in one second. See, now he's mad at me. Which is good, fine. Now, now I have, you know, rightful cause to murder you. I think they're cute, but they're kind of terrifying up close when you actually see their faces. Come on, Mr. Goblin, who can't have enough sense to run away. I kind of wish they did run away if, like, a monster started attacking them. Uh, you know, kind of create a little bit more of a challenge for you that you'd have to, you know, backtrack a little bit to go get them to come along. I mean, I know in, like, most games, like, everybody hates escort missions because they can be a pain in the butt. But in this game, they're actually too easy. They're, in some cases, you can ignore like every enemy you come across and just sit here and spam back and there's next it takes no skill to do this it's like okay walk 10 steps tell him to keep following you tell him to keep following you it's like what's the point it's like why would you sum your escort why would you stop suddenly following me you know hooray i've guided him to safety this is not safety right here So even though you're at the portal on the next map, well, there's just something there. See, I, I like the ones that are better, that happen in reverse, that you have to guide them to the sanctuary, because that's actual safety. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, so we have those available for use for later. And we're gonna take care of one more hunting log entry. I don't think I have time to take care of the next one because we still have to um, take care of at least the start of that quest. 
and I don't want these episodes to continue being like 40 minutes long. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Vandal stamps in your graffiti. Okay, thanks. Bye. Yeah, I want to close the map. Thank you. So over here in the invisible city. Not that there's like anything important here. Oh great, now I have two of them on my ass, but too bad this one's gonna die first. Too bad, too bad. Bye. And he's like, oh crap, they ran too far. Time to go away. This area is going to be a pain in the ass later because there actually is a quest at some point later where we have to pick up a bunch of crap in this area and you end up aggroing like everything in here along the way and it just gets kind of annoying. Thankfully I'm standing in a good spot. See, no, poor guy got attacked there. There we go. See, this this guy is interacting over here and picking up stuff he needs to pick up. I don't remember what quest it's for, but... Hooray! So that's all taken care of. So let's head over to... We're done, yeah. We only have one more entry left and it's in Western Thanalan and I'll pick it up. Uh, it's going to be relatively close to our third dungeon. And it's level 20, so I'll take care of it at that time. So, back to Gridania we go. And we're going to hit up the Adventurer's Guild down there. I love Gridania. It's so gorgeous. You know what? I haven't summoned my minion all episode. Oh well. No wind up Bahama today. Hello! I don't know where they got this idea that the Adventurer's Guild has to double as a bar. But, whatever. Oh, of course this thing pops up right in the middle of doing this. Okay, good. So she was pretty brief about that. I almost forgot we had registered for that thing <laughs> entirely. Hooray, short-term memory failure. Alright, so this is another one I have no idea what in the world it is supposed to be teaching you. Let me set the way for everyone to load in. Yeah, some of the, the, the time limits on this thing is ridiculous. Nobody's going to take three minutes, take 30 minutes to take care of this. So what we need to do is we're going to capture this turtle. And to do that, we need to put it to sleep. And to put it to sleep, we need to light some herbs on fire. Um, and... Like it says on the right, we need a fire sprite core to do that. Well, there are no fire sprites from which to obtain cores from at the moment. Did you just say Thal's bloody balls? I, I did read that right, right? Alright, so yeah, they, they, these tortoises, uh, it's pretty much equivalent to the tortoises we've seen. They function very similarly to the, uh, like the toxic toads and such like that. They have a huge AoE stomp. And just a bunch of auto attacks. So the tank is going to take them over here by this herb patch right here. Just for convenience for later. And we're going to kill all these ads right here. Now, I wonder if the le lesson here is, is somehow teaching about HP triggers, even though it doesn't make that clear. The fire sprite actually appears once the turtle has hit 50% health. So that's why, even though we're here to capture this turtle and not murder it, why we're sitting here murdering it anyway. Z 
easily one of the most more boring guild tests because you just basically just sit around and wait and just like just like a tank and spank really like there's no there's no challenge there's no thought no whatever this other poor DPS is looking around for the fire sprite apparently doesn't know but it's okay it's okay to be entirely stupid in these things because <laughs> there's no skill involved whatsoever And the tank just basically said the same the exact thing I just said. Now the fire sprite can appear in two spots. It can appear right here or it's going to appear over the or toward the stairs in the background. So as soon as we murder this fire sprite, we're going to get the core. And then it goes to the entire party so anybody can light it up. It doesn't appear in your inventory or anything like that. So basically, we have to light the herbs on fire and make sure the turtle is like right on top of it, and you automatically win for doing that. <laughs> it's real easy. Hooray! Completion bonus and all that. I like the name Patty Mayonnaise. I was a fan of the Doug show growing up, so. Why not? It's more just a coincidence that all the tanks are doing the, the, all the awesome jobs to get you in combination, so... Alright, so back to the task at hand here. Our next skill test that doesn't, doesn't think appears till level 20, I don't think? Yes, I'm about to get my mission and you just interrupted me on my briefing. Thank you. That's basically the Archer's Guild, so yeah. Okay. A burial site? Oh no. That can't be good. But, but it's been five years! So are we gonna burn a bunch of cultists who may or may not be zombies or and or surrounded by zombies? Great! Great! How delightful. Alright, so now we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna basically go and find the dungeon so we can open it and then we're gonna call it a day. Hello, coral kitten. We can actually get ourselves a coral kitten by now, but... So over to Central Shroud we go, which we haven't actually been in yet. But we're not gonna sightsee for the time being. Uh, some of this, like this area over here, is like late 20s, early 30s area, so yeah. Uh, Central Thunderland is probably gonna be one of the few maps we're gonna actually have completely mapped out for a while. It's like I said before, some of them actually have level 50 sections in them. So we actually have some generic enemies, like we have, there's ladybugs that hang around here as well. And there's like a bunch of squirrels. Actually, I need to go around and get in the higher terrain. But yeah, for a Final Fantasy game, it's like squirrels. And we have mushrooms. What MMO is complete without mushrooms being a low level monster? We have giant mosquitoes. Look at the size of these things. Can you imagine getting bit by one of those? That would really suck. What do they eat anyway? 
Like, like there's no like giant cows, and my cat is dreaming because their paws are twitching. I mean, maybe they're not carnivorous, but why would you need such a long proboscis if you weren't? So we're just gonna tag this aetherite really quick. This is a one and only aetherite central shroud. And it's conveniently right here, so why not? Hooray! And we're gonna fall in there, right? Yep. I've actually gotten stuck in those little rock areas before. Uh, if you jump at just the wrong angle. You may find yourself unable to get out. But I haven't seen that happen in a long time. So we have more bees. We have killer plants. It's amazing what you can find in the wild. So we want to go over this way. But yeah, the music here is just... Gorgeous. We have giant scorpions, which hurt. Get up, get away from me. So you will come out and talk to them in a minute. Shut up and leave me alone, you stupid skeleton. Alright, fine, I'll kick your butt. So you'll leave me alone. I remember the very first time I, I came to this place. Because uh, I started in Gridania, so I came here on exploration, adventure, and whatnot. And this place scared the crap out of me. You are welcome. Yeah, a about that. Well, I'd have murdered everybody anyway. That was the whole point of summoning this stupid thing. What's the real, you know, a, a wrench in the Empire's plan was <laughs> that, um, yeah, giant dragon encased within. Y yeah. Alright, so now we have access to that, and we're gonna run away from this guy. Why is there enemies everywhere? Leave me alone. I want to talk to these NPCs who are conveniently hanging out right in this area. And then we'll shut the hell up and get out of here. So, hello, sir. How are you doing? Now, if you remember, this is the guy who wished us well uh, back when we... Went to the Adventurers Guild after completing the last dungeon. He's like, yay, we're adventurers too. But you know what? Good luck. Yeah, that's right. We don't want no zombies hanging out. How are you? So they are prospective adventurers as well. And they think they're going to beat us to the punch. Uh, um, would you people like some help? Um, do you need some aid? Um, hello, other adventurers. Um, w would you like to do something? Dude, I don't call this rest. I call this place this, like gasping for your life over here. And yet these assholes are just sitting over there talking about how they're going to beat us to the punch and whatnot. And you guys are just... Oh, you poor fellows. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Um, next time we are going to enter the Temp Tower Deep Croft for our second dungeon of the game. So thank you all for watching, and I shall see you next time. <laughs>